an overview of length, area, and volume. When I measure length or distance, so things like the height or the width of something, or the length of an object, or the distance between two points, I'm measuring one dimension, one direction. For example, how long is this line? How many units of length are there? Or how long is the line that stretches all the way around this shape? Our units of length are millimeters, centimeters, meters, kilometers, and of course there's some others that we often use as well, but these are our main ones. So it's just from here to here along one dimension, how long is that? You could think about the perimeter of a shape as if I took the edge of this shape and stretched it all out in one dimension, how long would that be? Area is two dimensions. This has no area. I mean, technically it does because that's like about a millimeter. But if we said, look, that's just a line, no area. Area, we're counting how many squares a shape is made up of. Not how long something is, but how many squares would fit into it. How much space in two dimensions. So the area of this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 squares. And the squares are 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter. So my units are millimeters squared, centimeters squared, meters squared, or kilometers squared. And we also have hectares, which are a special measurement that just works for area. So when I'm measuring area, I'm counting the number of squares that a shape takes up. Now volume is three dimensions. And it's harder to draw volume, but here's a three dimensional shape. And when I'm looking at volume of a shape, I'm not asking how many lines it's got or how many squares it's got. I'm asking how many cubes it's got. So I'm counting the amount of space it takes up in three dimensions. And my units are millimeters cubed, centimeters cubed. So this is one centimeter cubed thereabouts because it's a cube space made up of one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. Meters cubed and even kilometers cubed, although that's pretty big. So length, area, and volume are often the three things that we might want to know about shapes. Length, one dimension. Area, how much space it takes up in two dimensions, so flat space on the page. And volume, three dimensions, how much physical space it takes up in three dimensions. So I'll just draw a two-dimensional picture here but we're going to try to represent a three-dimensional shape on the page. Now remember, my first dimension, if that's here, my second dimension is at right angles to it. So the two dimensions we're dealing with for area are at right angles, and in the cube, that's right angles there, and that's also right angles there. So the three dimensions are all at right angles to each other. So the whole idea is how much space does it take up in the three directions that we could go. So we're going to start learning about volume and we're measuring how much space a 3D object takes up.